What's the y'all? It's your girl Star. You already know. And if you don't, come in and get to know your girl. Y'all, so I just started doing a mump bang and I instantly started to regret it because this food took like an hour to get here. Now I'm hungry and I said I'm doing mump bang and a chit chat. Like, do I really want to chit chat? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm ready to eat. Ooh, that looks good. Let me get y'all closer. Okay. To get a good pizza from Little Caesars, you have to order it well done. Like, I don't care nobody say it. That's the best way to have it. And you gotta get some crazy sauce on the side. Mm hmm. Better eat me a couple slices of pizza because I'm hungry. Yeah. Probably eat one and then. See, I waited all that time and they put the bacon on the pizza. It was supposed to be on the sticks. But how are y'all doing today? I hope you're doing wonderful on this Wednesday, I believe. Mm. Y'all, I love Little Caesars. Like, I was watching Xavier. She's another YouTuber. And she was talking about how you know when to let go of relationships. Like, when it's time to leave. And I was like, it got me thinking, like, when you think it's time to let go of a friendship and i came up with like a few that i did right now but i want y'all to let me know like what y'all think as well so the first thing i came up with was they using you sometimes it's hard to spot but you can tell when a friend using you like the only time they want to hang out with you is when y'all doing something they always asking for something. It's always that friend that always want to hang around you when you got something. Or if you got a car. This especially be for people who in like high school and stuff like that. That's how I know that a lot of my friends were not my friends. They just wanted me for my car. Okay. But I think that's a big one. They using you. Like. You can tell, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're giving and they're never giving nothing back. It's like, it's not equal. It like, something's not adding up. But number six, y'all have different lifestyles. Y'all. But I don't know why I said number six, but that's how it's on my thing. I'm going from bottom up. But When y'all have different lifestyles and that person act like that, they're not trying to change. Like, it's nothing you can do but just to let them go. Like, when I was in high school, like, my 12th grade year to, like, my college, like, freshman in college, I used to have friends. Like, I used to party y'all. I used to drink. I didn't do drugs because I was scared, but it came to a point where it was like, okay, like, let's kind of speed this process up. It's time for us to be grown, not just partying every weekend. Let's talk about money. Let's talk about building together. Let's talk about getting a house. Let's talk about getting a car. Like, I had friends that were like that that didn't even have a car. Like, why are you so worried about the wrong thing? You worry about men. I have, oh my God, most of my friends that I was friends with, all they talk about was men. It's like, is that the only thing that's on your mind is men? <laughs> like, you can keep that baby because they're headed for one another one is you dread talking to them you know how, how you have them friends that that's always negative they're always talking like negative or they never have nothing good to say and they make you dread talking to them or see I don't mind when people talk about the same thing over and over it's when you talk about the same thing over and over, but you're not taking no steps to get better. Like, I'm helping you, and you're saying no steps. Like, it's one thing to be stuck, but you can still, like, you can still, like, make initiatives, whether that's relationships, getting a job, anything. Like, I don't mind you coming to me and complaining about stuff like that. Not complaining, but, you know, getting to me. But it comes to a point where it's like, okay, you complaining about getting a job and stuff, but you laying on the bed. This is not specific to nobody. You complain about leaving that man, but you're not taking the initiative, talking to them, seeing if they're actually doing better. You're just dealing with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
This is a big one too. It's always about them. Y'all, I have friends that will only talk about themselves. Like, if I try to talk, I couldn't even get a word in. It's like, am I gonna be able to say anything? But I see that as a blessing and a curse because it's like, maybe God not letting you get nothing in because he don't want your business that well. Everybody not your friend. But when it becomes all about them, and that's even with like fights, like when y'all get to arguments and stuff, it's only about them. They never try to see your side. It's always about how they feel. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like it's time to let that friendship go because they don't value your opinion and how you feel about things, even though you may be wrong. It's a lot of times I'm wrong in a situation, but I still, and if they're wrong, you know what I'm saying? I still try to see their point of view, no matter what. Even if it's, you know, rocky, it's still like, I still try to see their point of view. I'm not going to just downplay it and just be like, all right, I'm cutting them off. Unless it's something crazy, like, you kill my mother. If you talk about my mother, like, kill is an exaggeration. That's exaggeration. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, something like real crazy. But if it's something like, you know, just a disagreement or even if it's a big argument, like you you losing trust for that person it's like still like just hear them out another one you putting in more effort than that person like you put in effort to hang out with them it seems like you always the one taking the initiative to hang out with them like uh -uh. well in certain circumstances like with a child is always different Sometimes you get so cut off, you know, caught up, and you just, sometimes you forget to take time for yourself in your social life. So some, that, some limit seeing that, not just because I'm just saying, because I got a child, but when I didn't have a child, you know, sometimes it's like, okay, I'm putting in more effort to be, to hang out with this person. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you put more effort in friendship. Like, if y'all get into a big argument, and you're the one who putting in more effort to make sure that y'all get back on good terms and the other person is still like stuck in their ways and i'm i believe you should give people time to like get over things and do this and that but if it had been like months you know what i'm saying it's like okay now you're dragging it and then they're always making it about them once again it's like you're not trying to focus on a problem because i'm a big communicator i focus on problems not on oh you did this you did that let's focus on the problem you know what i'm saying but, or just let that person go. Don't have them run around because a friendship is like a relationship, y'all. It's, you go through all the same things, y'all just not kissing and touching and stuff like that. But it's, you know, sometimes it even hurt worse when you're actually in a friendship because it's like most of the time you're with that person for a very long time. Y'all been through everything. Y'all been through everything. You know what I'm saying? Like family things, boys wise. Y'all been through everything. Another one, when they try to fight me, y'all. Now, I tell y'all, I had so many ex-friends that try to fight me. I thought if they get to a point where you try to fight that person and all they're trying to do is communicate, that's another thing. Like I said, I'm big on communication. So, if you rather result to violence, I'm not a very violent person. So, if you want to result to violence with me, it's like it's almost like you're trying to challenge me. You're trying to down me and try to say like, oh yeah, she ain't violent, so I want to fight you. You know what I'm saying? Because they know I'm not that type of person. And that's what that's why that's that's a big one for me when they try to fight me. Because it's like, what you trying to fight me for? I'm just trying to communicate, like, what's the issue? How can we fix this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. I am not a fighter. I am a lover. Okay? And I'm not scared to admit it. But if you come to me and try to fight me, I'm not gonna just let you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not stupid. I defend myself, but have so many story times for y'all let me know if y'all want story time story times because i ain't got nothing but time right now when they resort to violence it's time to go if you gotta put your hands on me it's time to go and i know brothers if they more like your brother or sister it's a little different but at the same time it's like my brother and sisters they stuck with me i have to talk to them of course we're gonna fight but a friendship is like a relationship like i said if you're in a relationship with somebody is you gonna let them hit you if they hit you, you need to go. It's time to go if they got a result to hitting you. 
So I put friendship and relationships, you know, kind of close to each other. And if you got him, it's time to go. <laughs> and then this is my last one. If you could feel them, like, feel the energy shifting and you could feel like some type of jealousy. It's like they only want to talk to you when you have something negative. Time for them to go. When I tell them something good, it's not like they as happy. But as soon as I tell them something bad, it's like, oh, what happened, girl? What happened? Like, they're so quick to respond. They're so quick to jump in and say whatever. It's like, where was this energy? I'm sorry, y'all. If it, I'm looking at myself and looking at the camera, so I'm sorry. But it's just like, come on now. Red flag. You only want to talk to me when I'm talking about something bad. Don't try to relate to me. Try to make things better. I don't want somebody who can relate to me. Like, I want somebody who is actually trying to make things better. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be friends with somebody who's going through hardships the same as me. I want somebody who's been there but is out of that. Talk to me. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of person I want. And, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, now I don't build relationships off friendships off of, like, we've been through the same thing. Like, I mean, I don't build relationships off of we're going through the same thing. Because, baby, if you're down and I'm down, how are we going to get up? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the type of person who I I feel like I need motivation. So, if we're going through the same thing, I'm just not going to, we're not going to be there for each other like we need to be. I, that's my personal opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Because... Everybody, when it's time to leave, are different. But I feel like friendships, people downplay friendships a lot. It's like friendships are literally like so important. I think they should be treated just as like relationships or any other relationship you have. I'm actually getting pretty full. I waited so long for this food. And now I'm pretty much about to be done. But... Yeah, I'm not one of those people who eat, 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 eat. I'm sorry. I'm not one of those mom bangers. I'm sorry if that's what you're looking for. I can't eat no whole box of pizza. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is all I eat. I may eat one more slice. I don't know if I want y'all to be all up in my grill when I do this. <laughs> so, comment down below how y'all feel about this. When y'all think it's time to leave a friendship. But I'm not going to talk y'all head off. I'm actually about to... Wash some dishes. Well, not wash dishes. Put them in the dishwasher. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all want to see more stuff like this. If y'all want to hear some story times from me. I'm not too good of a story time person. Like, I'm not good at telling stories. But I do my best for y'all if that's what y'all want. But I will see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Did I already say subscribe? If I didn't, then don't forget. I love y'all. I am out.